Hey everybody, it is Pastor Jim. And Pastor Greer. And we are here to uh, invite you into a midweek discipline of worship, of reflection, of scripture, and prayer. And we're going to be doing that through the process of lament. The theme this Lenten season is talking about lament and crying out to God and bringing those things to God. We're going to do that not only through... Um, devotions, but also through music with our wonderful musicians, Iggy, Richard, and Elgin. We will be welcoming you into something called Holden Evening Prayer. This music is beautiful and gives us an opportunity to sing, to listen, to just be flooded with beautiful music as we engage this Lenten process. And so each week you will be invited to a different lament with scripture and with song and we just want to share what that might look like and be like for you this Lenten season. Absolutely. You know, in the scriptures, there is not just one kind of lament. There are many kinds of lament that we're going to explore. And uh, we're going to kind of invite you to also sit in your grief rather than toss it aside or ignore it like we often want to do, but actually just sit with it and discover that, you know what? There are many faithful believers who have wrestled with grief and sorrow and questions for God about why do good people suffer? It's not a new question, is it? No, it's not. And scripture supports the need for lament. And the series understands how we need to come to God with full honesty and humility, bring our laments to God and lay them at God's feet knowing that God can handle our lament and our rage and our wondering and our questions and our suffering, that God can handle those things that are maybe too big for our heart to bear. And so in this practice, we want to encourage you to lay those laments at God's feet and give the lament and the pain and the suffering right back to God to help hold and carry us through. And what we find is that our God is a God who transforms. And often will transform that sorrow and disappointment and grief into joy and renewed hope. And we'll learn ultimately in this season of Lent that it's Jesus' death on the cross, the place in which this season of Lent leads us, is the reason that we never mourn as those without hope. So enjoy this Midweek devotion. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world, a light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and shine within your people here.
be with you all, and also with you. Let us sing our thanks to God. It is right to give God thanks and praise.
with Pastor Jim and welcome to week one of What is a Lament? Well, we know that everybody experiences at some point in their life some grief, some sorrow, or maybe even questions for God about why innocents suffer. Why do the bad things happen to good people, right? We ask that question. And often that response is a lament. So let's kind of talk about what a lament is. Well, one example of a lament is found in Lamentations, chapter 3, and uh, verses 19 to 26. I'm going to read 19 to 23 and then reflect on that a little bit. The thought of my affliction and my homelessness is wormwood and gall. My soul continually thinks of it and is bowed down within me. But this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Well, there we talked about affliction and seem like you have no place to be, no place to call home. Your soul is just broken inside. Well, that's when we need a lament. And a lament is actually going, being able to go to God or go with others in the faith and maybe complain to God a little bit. And the Bible is filled with examples of faithful people of God offering sorrowful or even angry prayers to God. How long, O oh God? God, you know me. I'm really mad. You seem really silent right now. And what we know is that in the New Testament, even Jesus laments over Jerusalem and weeps over the death of his friend Lazarus. So to lament, it's to be honest, it's to grieve, it's to weep. I mean, these are all parts of the life of our faith. They're not separate from. Often we are too quick to push aside uncomfortable feelings of grief and loss and questioning of God. We have lost, in some ways, the spiritual discipline of lament. We know that the Psalms are filled with laments. So, in this season of Lent, maybe we are called to acknowledge the grief that is a part of our everyday life holding it, and then placing it gently, or maybe even forcefully, into God's hands. I know since the pandemic, there has been so much grief in everyone's life. It's as though we're grieving not just uh, illnesses and all the things that take place in our lives, but there's a brokenness in all of us that things got interrupted. Things didn't go back the way they were, and we grieve that. So this Lent, let's be honest. Join me and, and Pastor Greer in exploring the laments that are found in Scripture and maybe to relearn the discipline and the gift of holy lament. So let's think. What comes to mind when you hear that word lament? Do you think of ripping your clothes or sitting in ash? Those are biblical announce examples of what it means to lament. How comfortable are you with the concept of lament? Whether that be as an individual or even as a community, there are both. Do you feel lament is an important spiritual discipline that maybe you need in your life? Why? Why not? What I do know is, is that it's okay to grieve, to be sorrowful, and to even be angry at God, and to ask God why. I guarantee God is big enough to handle all of our questions, all of our emotion, all of our sorrow. God promises to be faithful and to be with us in the midst of our suffering.
you pray with me? Loving God, the prophets, the psalm writers, and countless other people of faith have given us an example of how to hold our grief before you through songs and prayers of lament. Hear our cries this day. Give us the courage to name our deepest sorrow and hand it over to you. Heal our wounded hearts and give us peace. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, Jesus says, Come to me, all you that are heavily burdened, and I will give you rest. Jesus invites us to come. I hope you'll join me. But may you go this day with this blessing. The Lord is watching over you. You're going out and you're coming in. The Lord is the shield of all your joys and holds your sorrows as well. God bless you. And may God keep you this day and always. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks to you. May God create.